500 meals each week. I've worked with other organizations where I've had to cook 1,500 meals a day. Here's no different. We're doing the same thing. I want the people to get the same quality, the same type of food that other people get. They're entitled to it. They can't go to a restaurant, but hey, I can bring the restaurant to them. Tonight's meal, feeding 700 people, consists of 50 pounds of Caesar salad, 70 loaves of fresh bread, and 120 gallons of chicken noodle soup. The community kitchen also houses a food pantry. Now, now the bad part about this, you know, on the surface, this looks great. Oh, my God. You know, they're feeding so many people. It's such a wonderful thing. But everything that you that we saw that they are saying is food is not even food. Now that's a that's a whole nother different subject. But you know, in a nutshell, it's the earth has food. It makes food, and the food that it makes for human beings is perennial. Anybody out there that understands anything about plants, those that are self generating are organic. So the food that humans can eat, uh, the food that the earth produces, is our food. All of this garbage right here that is made from the natural sources is, not, is no longer food. So we're doing this whole dance where we've taken away the human being's right to have access to the earth and to the food and the shelter and all of that stuff that it provides to where one small group uh, controls it and takes it then takes it and corrupts it and then sells it back to us and makes us rent it like the land now, you tell me how foul is that, okay? But we look at this young man right here and we say, oh, well, he's working. He, he can take care of his family and blah, 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 blah. Nah, this, this is not living. This is death. That's what this is. That's what this system is, death. Stairs. Where qualifying low income New Yorkers can obtain fresh produce and packaged foods free of charge. Each week, the mini supermarket provides food for more than 13,500 meals. The logistics of feeding a metropolis like New York may be daunting. But what about the task of feeding the world? It's a challenge that the United Nations World Food Program has tried to meet for nearly half a century. Okay, so now we've moved our focus, th this, this uh, documentary here, or whatever it is. Now it's going to talk about the amount of world hunger. The interesting thing about this is the same corporations that are, you know, giving, uh, donating this food, this, this so-called food to uh, urban areas in, in the United States does the same thing across the, the globe. Why? Why? Because they have taken all of the resources from the natives in that country too and taken away their ability and their right to use the land for their sustenance as a human right. They've taken that away and caused all of these horrific conditions. So, ha, ah, here we go. We'll fix it. Huh? Just keep letting us do it. <laughs> and at the same time, you know, we're also destroying the earth in the meantime. I don't see how this can happen 
to billions of human beings by a small minority of human beings. I, I don't get it. So, what can I say?